The Indian Air Force has released a video showcasing the developmental testing of the 300 km range Rudram 2 anti-radiation missile from a Su-30 aircraft. The Indian Navy foiled another piracy attempt along the east coast of Somalia, and saved 8 Pakistani and 11 Iranian crew members from a hijacked Iranian-flagged fishing vessel. The Indian Air Force will display its full spectrum of combat and fire capabilities during upcoming exercise Vayu Shakti 2024 at the Pok Run Range on 17 February, and will deliver 50 tons of ammo in a short time frame in a radius of 1.5 km. The Indian Air Force is planning to partner with private companies to repair and overhaul fighter jets at base repair depots, but the Air Force will maintain strict quality control over the work. The US State Department has approved the sale of 31 MQ-9B drones to India, and now the US Congress has a 30-day window to object to the deal. Spanish Navy is considering to acquire six more S-80 plus submarines, which has also been offered by the Spanish firm Navancia to the Indian Navy under Project 75I. The 24th January test of BrahMos extended range missile has proved extended range precision strike capability of BrahMos missile to a range of 900 km. The DRDO is set to conduct the first missile test launch from its new test range in West Bengal by late February. After yesterday's high-level meeting, the Maldivian government has announced that India will replace its military personnel with ex-servicemen to operate three Indian aircraft in two phases by 10th May. The Indian Air Force chief has said that projects like AMCA will take time and resources to fructify, and that it is important that the strength of our combat assets is not depleted further, and there is crucial need for the MRFA program to fill the void. He also added, that in order to ensure that the Air Force retains its edge, the acquisition of 114 MRFA fighter jets are extremely important. The Air Chief also expressed hope for the progress in the issue of request for proposal for the MRFA tender soon. A debate has started about the hefty $3.99 billion price tag for 31 MQ-9B drones, and about the cost-effectiveness of this acquisition. At $120 million per unit, each drone is as expensive as a Rafale fighter jet, and nearly three times the cost of India's Tejas fighter jet. Experts have said that it's important to consider that the price tag includes advanced sensors and weapons that will give the Indian military a game-changing edge, and that further reductions might be possible as price negotiations are still underway. New Space Research and Technologies has unveiled its small rotary tactical UAV, which features an electro-optical payload to conduct day-night surveillance and reconnaissance missions, and communications signals and electronic intelligence payloads, and synthetic aperture radar and maritime patrol radar. It utilizes a multi-rotor configuration for vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, that will provide agility and maneuverability for fully autonomous operations in complex environments. A image showcasing the design of the upcoming indigenously designed and built fleet support ships for the Indian Navy has appeared on social media, five of which are being built by Hindustan Shipyard at an overall cost of 19,000 crore rupees. India had silently removed a Turkish shipyard from its fleet support ship program last year, and officials have confirmed that the first ship will be delivered in 2026, with the remaining four ships to follow over the next few years. Today's top 3 comments 